Question number 5 says a metallic right circular cone 20 cm high and whose vertical angle is 60 degrees is cut into two parts at the middle of its height by a plane parallel to its base. If the fristum so obtained be drawn into a wire of diameter 116 cm, we have to find the length of the wire. So let's draw the figure for the question first and this is how the metallic red circular cone looks like. Its total height is 20 cm and its vertical angle is 60 degrees as highlighted in the figure. Now it's cut from the middle by a plane which is parallel to the base. So EF is parallel to PC and it gets divided into two sections. The upper section is a cone itself but the lower section is in the shape of a fristum and it has got two circular ends, one at the top and one at the bottom. The two sections have got equal heights of 10 and 10 centimeters because the sectioning of the cone is done from the middle of it. Now, we have to find the radius of the upper circular end and the lower circular end of the fristum. So for that what we do is we first focus on to the triangle AEG and in here we take the ratio of the sides EG and AG. So EG by AG gives us the trigonometric ratio tan 30 degrees. So let's substitute the values which we know. So EG by AG which is 10 equals 1 over root 3. So we get the value of EG to be equal to 10 root 3. Now if we rationalize it, that is if we multiply numerator and denominator with root 3 and root 3, we get the answer as 10 root 3 by 3 centimeters. So what basically we have found out now is the radius of the upper circular end of the frustum which equals 10 root 3 divided by 3 centimeters. So in a similar manner what we have to do now is to find the radius of the lower circular end. So for that we will focus onto the triangle ABD now and we'll take the ratio of the sides BD and AD which equals the trigonometric ratio tan 30 degrees. So we'll substitute the values and we get that BD equals 20 by root 3. So on rationalization we again get that as 20 root 3 divided by 3 centimeters. So we have found out the radius of the lower circular end which is R2 to be equal to 20 root 3 divided by 3 centimeters. So now that we have found out the two radii of the frustum, R1 and R2 of the upper circular end and the lower circular end, the next thing that we have to do is to find the volume of the frustum. So let's do that. Let's write the volume of the frustum's formula. So the volume of frustum equals 1 by 3 pi times h times r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 times r2. Let's substitute these values and we get that as 1 by 3 pi times h which is 10. Now r1 square which is 10 root 3 by 3 the whole square comes as 300 by 9 plus r2 square which is 20 root 3 by 3 the whole square comes as 1200 by 9. And R1 times R2 comes as 600 by 9. So we basically get it as 1 by 3 times pi times 10. And simplifying the terms inside the brackets, we get it as 2100 divided by 9. So on further calculation, we get the final answer as 22,000 divided by 9 centimeter cube as the volume of the frustum. So the question had said that the frustum so obtained be drawn into a wire of diameter 116 centimeter and we have to find the length of the wire. So the volume of the wire will be equal to the volume of the frustum that we have found now. So to do that we will first find out the volume of the wire. If we take the length of the wire to be L 
and the radius of the wire to be r it will be equal to 1 16th by 2 and that will be 1 over 32 centimeters so the volume of the wire will be equal to pi r square l that is the area of the cross section times length so we write it as area of cross section times l which is the length of the wire so the area of cross section is nothing but a circle so the area of a circle is found out by the formula pi r square and we write it with times l so let's substitute the values we write it as pi times 1 by 32 the whole square l now we can equate the two volumes that is the volume of wire to be equal to the volume of frustum because that is what has been given in the question the frustum was drawn into the wire so we'll write it as pi l divided by 32 times 32 to be equal to 22000 divided by 9 so from this calculation and rearranging the terms we get the length of the wire to be equal to 796 triple four point four four centimeters and if we convert that into meters we get the answer as seven thousand nine hundred sixty four point four four meters and this is how we solve this question to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.